Why does the letter A in cat and father sound different? Aujourd'hui, j'ai étudié pour la science. Why does French sound more complicated than English? Similar to how astronomy is the science of space and how anatomy is the science of the body, linguistics is the science of language. This video will cover the five main parts of linguistics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. Phonology is the study of sound production in all languages and the patterns that occur among these sounds. The distinct units of sounds in any language that distinguish one word from another are called phonemes, like P, B, D, and T. Phonology influences the meaning of a word or phrase, even with the smallest phoneme change. Let's take a look at these two sentences. I have two nickels. I have to eat lunch. Notice how the first use of have ends with a V sound and the second ends with an F sound. We use both pronunciations interchangeably depending on what we want to communicate. To describe phonemes in writing, we use a system called the International Phonetic Alphabet, which consists of over 100 symbols. It's important to note that phonology and phonetics are not synonymous. Phonetics studies the nature of speech sounds, including production by the vocal tract and perception by the auditory system. Phonology studies how speech sounds form systems and patterns. Morphology is the study of words, how they are formed, and how they interact with one another in a language. The smallest units of language with meaning are called morphemes. There are two types of morphemes, free and bound. Free morphemes are simple words that can stand alone, like the word friend. Bound morphemes must be used with a free morpheme to form a word and cannot stand alone, like Lee and friendly. Let's take a look at the word love. We can change its meaning by adding morphemes. Love itself is a noun. Lovely, loving, and loved are adjectives and lovingly is an adverb. By adding on morphemes, we are changing the morphology of the word. Syntax studies the set of rules that concerns the structure and formation of sentences. There are eight different parts of speech that a sentence can include. You may be familiar with adjectives, nouns, verbs, and adverbs. There are also determiners, auxiliary verbs, prepositions, and conjunctions. A determiner is a word or affix that modifies a noun to express reference, like that cat. An auxiliary verb modifies a verb to form tense or mood, like she is singing. A preposition goes before a noun or pronoun to express a relation to another word or element in a sentence, like the bird near the window. Lastly, a conjunction is a word that connects clauses and sentences, like coffee and sugar. To represent the syntactic structure of a sentence, we can create and interpret syntax trees. These are created using branches of noun, verb, and prepositional phrases. Semantics is the study of the meaning behind morphemes, words, phrases, and sentences. Think about how the meaning of winter differs among someone who lives in Colorado and someone who lives in Florida. The two types of semantics are connotative and denotative. Connotation expresses imaginative and emotional meaning, while denotation expresses literal and dictionary meaning. Let's take a closer look at this sentence. School is challenging. The denotation of the word challenging suggests that school is testing one's abilities or demanding. The connotation suggests that school is not only difficult, but it's also unpleasant. Semantics focuses on how we interpret and draw different meanings from words. Pragmatics is the study of words and their relationships with the speakers of these words depending on the context. It looks beyond the literal meaning of language, diving into how both direct and indirect meanings are created. Let's take a look at this example. Can you pass the salt? We know that the speaker isn't asking if the listener is physically capable of passing the salt. With our knowledge of pragmatics and the context of both parties having dinner together, we can conclude that the speaker is requesting the listener to pass the salt. There are differences between semantics and pragmatics. 
semantics has a more internal focus on the meaning of expressions. Pragmatics has a more external focus on context and implied meaning. All languages across the globe seem very different. In the end, they all exist because of the same five branches of linguistics. Thanks to these branches, we are able to connect, communicate, and share our lives with one another.